now we are required to find out the shear force and bending moment diagram of the following beam as we know that we already discussed how to find out the reactions of the beam so i have already written the reactions of the beam as follows this is example 2 for drawing shear force and bending moment diagram by method of section now in this beam we will have to consider how many sections section number 1 as there is one variability in the load in the span and then the same load continues and then section number 2 as the load varies section 1 section 2 for section 1 we are required to find out the equations of shear and moment for that we need to draw the free body diagram of section 1 the reaction is 5 kN downward we assume always these directions where the section is being cut the shear force equation would be as minus b minus 2x and minus 5 Is equal to zero. V is equal to minus two x minus five, and that is our shear equation. And for moment equation, we sum up the moment at this point wherever we cut the section. Plus moment as we assume anti-clockwise as positive. Sum of moment is equal to zero. Anti clockwise moment plus five times x. That is, let's take this distance as distance x. It is tending to rotate the beam in anti clockwise direction. And plus two x square divided by two. As the area under the curve gives us the load two times x into lever arm. Lever arm would be at half of distance x as we know it is a rectangular loading is equals to 0 the moment equation will become as minus 5x minus x square the limits of this these two equations are 0 4 for section 2 to the equation would be as We need to find out the real bending moment and shear force. So by section method, the free body diagram is coming hole in the section, so it is totally four meters, and this is distance x here. So let's call this as x minus four meters. This is anti-clockwise positive, five kilo newton reaction, and the reaction is thirty-seven kilo newton here. Six kilo newton per meter force, two kilo newton per meter. The moment the shear equation would be minus v minus two into four minus five, which this minus six. That is this, and for area and for force, we find out the area. That is six times this dimension, two times this dimension, two times this dimension. What is this? And these two are UDL, and this is the reaction force. Is equals to zero. We forgot to add out the reaction, which was plus thirty seven. This one. So now adding up these, we get forty-eight minus six x, which is the shear equation. For moment equation, we sum up moment at this point. It would be a complicated equation. So pay attention. M plus since it is rotating in clockwise, anti-clockwise direction, plus five. It is also rotating in clockwise, anti-clockwise direction. Five into lever arm x. From this point, five 
x plus 2 times 4 that is this as we already discussed that 2 times 4 would be the force and the lever arm would be the whole distance x minus 4 plus half of this plus 4 by 2 half of this it would be the lever arm that is this distance plus 37 x minus 4 it is rotating the beam in clockwise direction so it has to be a negative sign not a positive sign and plus for this UDL 6 times x minus 4 that is the area and the lever arm would be x minus 4 divided by 2 this would be the lever arm which equals to 0 upon solving we get moment equation as minus 5x minus 8x minus 2 plus 37x minus 4 minus 3x minus 4 whole square the limits of these two equations are Now for drawing up the shear force and bending moment diagram, we need to copy these equations. Let's divide it into the spans as given. This span is of 4 meters. This is of 2 meters. So for this span, x limits are as x greater than equals to 0, and x greater than 4, and less than 6. Actually, it was 6 over here, sorry. The equation over here is v is equals to minus 2x minus 5 minus 2x minus 5 moment equation is minus 5x minus x square for this section the moment shear equation is 48 minus 6 And for this section, the moment equation is minus 5x minus 8x minus 2 plus 37x minus 4 minus 3x minus 4. So, first of all, using from 0 to 4, we will be using these equations. Substituting the value of at x is equal to 0 in this equation, we get here as z minus 5. In this value, if we substitute x is equal to 0, then we get here value is equal to 5. With zero. And in this equation, if we put the shear value at x is equal to 4, that is this point, we get shear value minus. which is like here drawing these two points we get minus 
now for further shear equation we put here and use these equations from here to here at x is equals to 4 v is equals to plus 24 and at x is equal to 3, 6 we get here as v is equal to 12 joining these two points we get the shear force diagram For bending moment diagram, we use these equations. Substituting x is equal to 0, we get first moment as 0. x is equal to 0. And, and substituting value of x is equal to 4, we get moment value as minus 30. Using these equations, substituting x is equal to 4, we get moment value as minus 36 again, which is this point. And substituting x is equal to 6, we get moment value as 0, which is this point. Now, how are we going, going to join? This shear force is a 1 degree equation. 1 degree equation. So, it gives 1 degree. 1 degree linear graph while moment equation we notice that they are second degree equations which gives us a quadratic equation ultimately so the curve would be second degree curve now there are two possibilities of drawing shear force diagram whether the curve would be like this or whether the curve would be like this for this we have to see since the shear force is incre increasing in magnitude and when the magnitude is increasing and when the magnitude is increasing the, uh, the curve tends to become parallel to y axis y axis has maximum slope and x axis has minimum slope now which of these two lines has since the shear force is increasing, which of these two lines has a maximum slope? This line, as it is tending to become parallel to y axis. And for this, the shear force is decreasing in magnitude. So we tend to make the curve parallel to x axis. We will choose this one, which is the required bending moment diagram. Thanks for watching.